Hello YouTube, this is uh, Late Stick with Late Six Cards and Collectibles. It's just got a quick uh, Monday mailbag video or whatever day mailbag video. I got five things in the mail today. This is pretty much, most of the stuff is investment slash PC. <sighs> yeah, PC isn't what it used to be because I'm more looking for investment cards these days for fishing down the road. But yeah, as of right now, I mean, not really... This all depends on what how Fanatics is going to go about this, I think, and I don't, I'm not sure how this is going to affect the card market down the road, but I'm afraid that like Panini and Tops are just going to just flood the market. I mean, get get money, get as many cards out as they can, and I think this year we're okay, but I'm not sure how that's going to affect the next couple of years and they lose their licenses and and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I kind of think just based on everything, I think Panini will will hold strong and probably still produce cards. I think that this whole deal with Fanatics crippled tops. And I think that personally, I think Fanatics will probably buy out tops. I mean, to me, that makes sense because I don't think they want to start from scratch and that they buy out tops. They already have brands already ready, ready to roll, ready to roll out as far as all the tops products go. Cause you obviously, you know, there used to be tops basketball and football, you know, Chrome finest, all that, all that stuff. So they, they already had that already in the works. So, I mean, it would make sense that Fanatics would buy, but I, that isn't stopping the the main thing here is it isn't stopping me from still buying. I'm still looking for investment cards and PC stuff. I don't care. This is all I can do. So I, love, I love the hobby. So without further ado, let's just get into this first package. I wonder if we're going to find anything wrapped in toilet paper. I'm definitely going to find scotch tape. I just know it. I just know it. Someone's going to wrap some of this touch stuff in scotch tape. Number one, no, no. All right, what do we got here? First card. Looks like this is a Tyrese Maxi Prism. Yeah, I've been picking, I've been grabbing these. I waited for a couple weeks for the, you know, I didn't want to buy these initially, but I got these, got this guy for about five bucks. Shipping was about the same as a card. Centering's good. Centering's a huge issue on Basketball Select this year, man. So I looked through a lot of cards to try to find this. Centering was good. I mean, for what I could tell, you know, everything else is pretty good. Corners and whatnot. I mean, even this kind of looks kind of scary, but that's just the gray that's on the card. So, guy had a really good, really two really great summer league. He actually led the summer league in uh, points per game. Looked really good. Probably shouldn't have been playing, but you know, I got high hopes for him, especially if they trade Ben Simmons. You know, not to mention I'm a Philadelphia fan. So, kind of just, you know, just double, double dipping here for me. All right, next package. Oof, I came close to getting the card on that one. I came real close to getting the card. Okay, this is another kid that I remember watching when he was probably 14 or 15, hitting 500-foot home runs. I mean, he was only a third-round draft pick, but he's really highly touted, and I want to get my hand on a couple of these. I mean, I thought about maybe buying a box or two, but, you know, I picked this up for about 50 bucks. So one of his better parallels. That's, um, not really parallels. This is Sapphire. This is Bowman's top end product. I'm so glad I did not clip the top of that card. That would have been nasty. And once again, I've looked at probably 40 or 50 of these, and I've only bid on two of them because the centering is a huge issue with these cards as well for some reason. I don't get it. A lot of the Mojos, not so much. The Mojo ones come out of the Mega Box, not so much. This is a premium product, and I've seen so many centering issues. I'm probably going to try to land my hands on one or two more of these just just to hold i got you know half dozen of his mojos and about 10 of his base chromes and some of the paper uh, parallels as well i haven't gotten into any number cards yet but i will look into that but i want the hype on him to you know i want next year's product to come out before i chase it because he probably won't be smashing in the big leagues just as yet so i mean so his gold parallel is going for close to 300 so i want to maybe grab one of those or maybe one of the greens or blues i don't know just gonna see what i'm gonna get deal on really want to get the sapphire instead of this the regular bowman chrome but yeah i'm really high on this kid he's you know 18 years old just just got paid by the socks i think he just got moved up uh, as of august 21st he got moved up again so yeah high hopes for this kid a lot of people are probably invested in him i mean the kid's got killer power got gets the bryce harper you know references but then again you know anyways next moving on next card well we will try to trim a little closer this time to the end instead of almost chopping off the 
There we go. Painter's tape. Number one thing that every YouTube or YouTube eBay seller needs. Doesn't stick. Comes right off. I'm not worried about it damaging anything. Because so many people use scotch tape and it just pretty much ruins the holder. And, and if you tape the top with scotch tape, chance of damaging it. Okay, this is Tyrese Maxi Quartzide base from the retail product. Got this guy for 10 bucks. Waited, waited, waited. So, I mean, the first couple days these came out, man, I watched a couple of them sell for like 50 bucks. I'm like, you guys are crazy. But got it, got, I have two. I got another one of these coming too. I got one at 10 and one at 11 something. So, I mean, corners look pretty good. Everything looks pretty good about the card. I will make sure to take these cards out of the sleeves and actually examine them further because with eBay, you have three days to send the card back just in case there's something wrong with it and i hate sending cards back but you know people try to pawn stuff off man it's amazing how many people try to sell damaged cards and just don't don't mention it in the description or don't take pictures of it so all right next damn almost got this one too all right not really sure why i bought this card I think the reason why I bought this card is because I'm going to make a video. I have a most impressive Darius Geist collection. And I think the reason why I got this card is I got it for like three bucks. It's this field level silver rookie. And the NFL just handed down his six game suspension. So after six games, he's going to be ready to roll. And now that J.K. Dobbins is down and ETN is down, there could be a possibility for him. I mean, the guy's a stud. He just, you know, needs, just had some issues. That I hope, hopefully he worked out because he's young. I mean, I hope he gets his second chance at it. I mean, but anyways, I got a ton of his cards and it, you know, three bucks for his field level rookie. Uh, yeah, I'll take that all day long. There's a couple of more I'm eyeballing as well. You know, I've already dropped a ton on him his rookie year and then he got hurt. And then the next year he put strung together four good games. I was going to dump a bunch of his cards that I had doubles and triples of because yeah, he is a PC. And then he got hurt again. And then, you know, what else happened? So, anyways, hope he comes back healthy and strong. I mean, anyways, it's a beautiful looking card right there. All right, last card. All right, if you haven't checked it out yet, I got, see, about five videos up. So, I got a, did a open a couple prestige mega boxes in one video i got uh three pc videos i'm just currently uploading the, the last of the three right now and i'm also going to be uploading a video open up a couple uh tops chrome baseball mega box or not mega box blaster box which, which quite honestly i mean man baseball is just such a cheaper cheaper rip and you're always going to get if you know anything there's always going to get your money back. It's really, I mean, it's much easier to get your money back, especially if you're buying secondary prices, man, because I've want i been trying to get select basketball on Target, and it's just been brutal. The bots have just been feasting. All right, and I should have waited another couple weeks before I bought this because once I think uh, Don Russ releases and it's, you know, affordable product for everyone to get them in the pro units, I think these prices are going to drop even further. I only paid 25 for it. I mean, did I overpay? I don't think so, because I think this card, I mean, there's a lot of hype on him, and I do have the pink one as well, and I'm going to try to find the orange one. Green one was the hardest one to find. That was, People are just not auctioning these things. I This guy sent me a $30 or buy it now, and most everybody else has him posted for 50 or more. I, I just threw him a 25 or, and he accepted. So, I mean, I'll take it. Justin Fields looks like he's, you know, gonna have a bright future as of right now and i mean andy dalton might start the season but i don't see andy dalton lasting too long i mean as long as this kid can stay healthy i think i mean they got high hopes of course he's you know i'm ohio state guy so i mean peace i'm gonna pc him as best i can we all know that the average man can't really pc uh you know premium quarterbacks is it's gonna get it get expensive but i'm hoping you know some of the stuff that i flip i can you know buy some of his nicer products when they do come out Anyways, I mean, that's that's that. Um, thanks for joining, and I got a couple videos that I'm going to be uploading here. One today, actually probably two today, and uh, hopefully I will probably drop this one tomorrow or the next day. All right, thanks, uh, YouTube, and we'll catch you on the next one.